a number of factors went against the coalition. First of all, we had GetUp. GetUp brought people into his electorate to hand out cards. There was a lot of effort from GetUp, a lot of effort from GetUp. GetUp, they have done, they are just beyond compare. Hi, I'm Paul Listing, the National Director of GetUp. We still don't know the outcome of the 2016 election, but one thing's certain, nobody was expecting such a huge swing against the coalition. Well, nobody except for us. This election, GetUp members took in our boldest and most ambitious strategy ever. Malcolm Turnbull was instated as Prime Minister, but to gain power, he traded his moderate views for the votes of the hard-right faction of the coalition, a faction of Abbott backers and blockers of progressive policy. A powerful minority in our parliament were holding us back. Show me the money! But what if we could dismantle that power? What if a community of over one million ordinary Australians could take extraordinary organised action together? What if we could prove that if you're standing in the way of progress, you will pay the price at the ballot box? The strategy was simple. We play to our strengths. We connect with voters on the issues they care about and give them information on whether their local MP best represents those interests. We use our humour to cut through the political spin. We make sure politics is sexy and easy to understand. We enfranchise everyone, no matter whether they watch the news, whether they're not yet on the electoral roll, or if they speak a different language. We make sure their voices matter. Hundreds of thousands of you backed this strategy, and you brought the campaign to life. This election, 3,036 of you volunteered for GetUp's campaign. 735 volunteers filled out over 600 calling shifts and had over 45,000 conversations with voters living in the seats of our target MPs. GetUp's digital advertising program put tailored ads in front of over 1,800,000 individual Facebook users in those key marginal seats. In the week before the election, GetUp's content reached over 4.5 million users on Facebook. We put ads in the cinema, on TV, in the newspapers and on the streets. Over 36,000 GetUp members chipped in to fund this incredible people-powered election campaign. On election day, record numbers of GetUp members hit polling booths, helping voters vote for hospitals, Medicare and to protect our reef and the future of renewable energy. We covered over 450 polling booths and handed out over 1.1 million How to Vote cards. And the plan worked. Out of the 12 seats lost by the coalition so far, Eight were held by the right-wing blockers who held us back on key issues like climate action and funding of our schools and hospitals, including former government whip Andrew Nikolic. Liberal Andrew Nikolic was the first to concede defeat in Bass. He refused to front the media. Jamie Briggs, the member for Mayo. Jamie Briggs has uh, lost that seat. MacArthur went early in the night. Russell Matheson, fairly large swing there. The seat of Macquarie. Louise Marcus is a 6.2% swing. And Immigration Minister Peter Dutton's seat of Dixon took a huge hit with a 5.9% swing against him. That's twice the state average. Big campaigns against him by groups like Get Up here. The swing is 5.4, so it's a significant swing. Get Up volunteers had 27,000 conversations with voters in those electorates alone. It's no wonder they're blaming us. I More than 3,000 volunteers joined the ranks of community campaigning organisation Get Up for an eight-week assault on the most conservative MPs. So we had quite a deliberate strategy and focused particularly in places where the hard right were really holding back progress on issues that our members cared about, but also issues that the vast majority of Australians care about. And all of it was powered by everyday people reaching into their wallet. Together, we gave it everything. Together we took on the hard right and sent the message that if you're standing in the way of progress, you'll have to answer to the voters. Not only do we take out some key players of the coalition's hard right faction of blockers, together this election we sent a message. If you use division and fear to wield power, if you block progress on meaningful measures of sustainability, equality and inclusion, if you believe in holding your own party and the Australian electorate hostage to views that are out of touch and dangerous for our future, then be prepared to be exposed and lose votes and power like never before. Be prepared to have your own party see you as a liability. Be prepared to answer to your own voters when you're standing in the way of progress they believe in. Right now, the Get Up movement is stronger than ever and it's going to need to be. Pauline Hanson's return to the Senate. We took out some of our target blockers, but not all of them. But what this election has proved to our supporters and critics is that when GetUp members pull together and give it everything, our movement has incredible power. Thank you to our dedicated volunteers who powered this campaign. 
Thank you to every person who chipped in for people power over corporate power. Thank you to our friends and partners across the movement for your work and incredible collaboration. For any and every way you contributed to the Get Up Election campaign, thank you.